everyone, it's Lindsay from upliftinginker.com. Now, last year I went on the Sacred Spaces journey. Sacred Spaces is written by Corey Weathers. It's an amazing book that if you haven't read it yet as a military spouse or as a military family or as someone that knows someone in the military or as a military spouse, it's definitely something you should pick up. Today I'm going to share with you the end of my journey um, and it's never really over but I want to read you the final post that I wrote about sacred spaces I'm sure there'll be more to come but I want to share this one with you today and just sort of put it out there because it was a, a very um, a life-changing journey for my family and I I still have my bracelet on I'm not sure if I'll ever take it off maybe it will just fall off and that will be its destined time to leave me so here is the post that I wrote about sacred spaces. Last year, I made a promise. I took the sacred spaces intentional marriage challenge and vowed the following. I will intentionally open myself to vulnerability and close the chapter of self-preservation. I will honor my husband with acts of kindness for 365 days. The change I hope to see in me and my marriage to deepen our bond, strengthen our love, and to give my husband his place back in our family. I decided to embark on the challenge one year for one year because I knew how long it took us to get here. And I want to be reminded every day for 365 days that I'm making a new choice. Here we are a year later and we are changed. I am changed as a wife, a mother and a person. We've changed from being a family of a mother and daughter waiting for daddy to a family of three. How can one book do all of that? It started with taking a hard, honest look at where we've been and where we're going. We've gone through five deployments total as a family. I can't even count the trainings. But I don't feel like we felt separated until we had a child. I spent my entire pregnancy without him. I was fortunate enough to have him return when I was 36 weeks. We welcomed our baby into our lives and then he had to leave again when she was three months old. I feel our greatest divide happened in those last years. Becoming a mother and doing a large amount of it without my spouse, it was humbling. I found a lot of strength in that time, but I'd also pushed back. I also pushed back in our marriage. I felt like I grew into a mother for those two years of pregnancy and our daughter's first year, but I did not grow as a wife. I didn't know how to put our pieces back together. I typed military spouse podcast into Google and that's how I found her. I found Corey Weather's Life Giver podcast last year. It was January 2016 when this journey began for me. I started listening to Life Giver because I felt lost after he returned from deployment. I heard she was writing a book. I then applied to be on her Sacred Spaces book launch team in June. I was invited to the team, read the book, and I was challenged. Take the first step in putting our marriage back together. Admit I was not right in how I was handling us. It was a pretty sobering call to action. Weathers is beautifully and brutally honest all throughout the book, and I openly wept in the chapter moving forward. She describes how she needed to be vulnerable and intentional in her marriage. She states that I continued to support by listening and working around whatever I still didn't understand. But deep inside, my fatigue from our military experience made me comfortable with gaps as if they were unexpected guests in our home with a permanent seat at our table. The book woke me up. It shook me out of being a victim of our deployments and into action. Reading how Corey's heart was guarded, not vulnerable and fatigued, that mirrored mine. We've addressed this so much by talking between my husband and me. I've read passages from the book to him and I point to them and say, this, this is what I've been feeling. It gives us both context. We've also now started to listen to marriage podcasts together as a couple, one Saturday a month. We're realizing our marriage is constant good work and that we have to put the time into staying on this journey together. The term sacred spaces has been the most applicable to our life and marriage. We will be married for nine years this December, but there are generous gaps in that time we've actually spent together as a family due to deployments, trainings, and general military life requirements. Receiving a definition, a term that could help us grasp what we've gone through as a military family has been life-changing. Sacred Spaces sums up the space we've spent together and apart in our lifetime. It's opening up conversation going back years on how this military lifestyle has changed and shaped both of us individually and as a couple. Some of these talks have been painful, but it's been a healing chapter for us to have this book come into our lives. 
we've been given the chance with the term sacred spaces to step back and understand there is much about our time apart that cannot be explained or fully understood. We cannot walk in one another's shoes. I have never been deployed and faced a war zone. He has not carried the diaper bag and been awake for months alone with a newborn. But we can seek to love, communicate, and grant graciousness with one another. It has also brought to light the positive things we have done and must continue to do to develop shared sacred space between us. We are carving out unique vacation experiences and even simpler moments like making sure we have family dinners every week. We want to keep on dating each other for the rest of our lives. We have to move forward. The book reignited a flame within me to pursue my own spouse's heart. It's very easy to slip into bitter in this lifestyle. It's very easy to feel always last to the greater good of the military career. It's easy to get exhausted and become unloving. But while I can see that we have sacred space between us from our time apart, I don't need to create more of it on top of that. The book and the challenge have motivated me and made me feel supported to close the gaps. There were moments this year when I looked down at my blue reminder bracelet and I wanted to fling it against the wall. This is not easy. Marriage, military marriage especially, is beautiful, ugly, tough, amazing, unbreakable, and fragile. There is life within us yet. I'll look back at this year as one where we made our own tides turn. The work is not over and I'm thankful for that because it means we are committed to our family again and it started with me cracking open the pages of a book. So if you haven't read Sacred Spaces yet, what are you waiting for? And I'm also going to link the podcast um, Life Giver below. I hope that you guys consider taking your own Sacred Spaces journey. It doesn't have to be for a year, could be for a week, for a month, but a year felt right to us and right to me to sort of turn our chapter and our story around. Thank you, Corey, for putting your vulnerability out there so that those of us that are following in our own military spouse footsteps could do the same.